Hey there, it's David from the Chesky, pretty specialist from Autodesk. We're here at PAX Melbourne. First time this event is being held outside of North America. It's a three day event. Uh, we're going to go inside and have a look, so come and join me and we'll see what's going on inside.
Dimitri Amora, I'm here at Pax from Love Shack Entertainment. One of the designers and the composer of um, Afraid. And uh, it's basically a narrative panel spot for you. You get to, uh, it's like a film noir kind of, each cop meets a uh, comic book meets video game kind of uh, a narrative puzzle thing. So you have to rearrange the panels of each, uh, each, uh, each scene in order to get your character through the one piece. Uh, there's some very interesting story things going on here. I won't I ruin it for anyone right now, but we hope you enjoy it. G'day, I'm Ed Orman from Uppercut Games. Uh, this is our game Epoch 2, which is a sequel to our million seller Epoch 1. It's uh, coming soon to iOS, it'll be out in October, and it uses the Unreal Engine.
letter press and words in France, we've got a mode where you've got like an entire day, typically it's a... Uh, we're looking to release that uh, around the end of the year, maybe the start of 2014. Uh, that's going to be on all uh, platforms really, on iOS, Android, uh, the web, uh, PC and Mac. Uh, we haven't got a name for that yet. Um, but uh, yeah, if you check out mangames.com, you'll be able to get it if you want. Alright, great. Hi, so my name's Mako, and I'm a partner here of TechSol. And so we do military simulation hardware mixed with video game style game modes. So we use high precision um, guns and they can be set to one of 12 real world firearms. And the game modes we develop ourselves, we do the software and it does domination, rush modes, we're working on some other stuff as well. So things like Call of Duty, Battlefields, that sort of stuff coming together. Multiplayer centric games. And we're based in Melbourne only at the moment. And you can come down, we do regular stuff at Northcote, we've got a few other venues, uh, rooftop, be surrounded by the high rises, a place in Kensington, we do some cool stuff as well. So come down and have a go.
enjoying in getting this person to meet that person. Um, I was actually on a par uh, panel about geek parenting and raising generation 2.0, which was always a bit nerve-wracking, but that went really well. So that was fantastic. And just to see so many geek parents who are keen to, you know, encourage that kind of enthusiasm on subjects with their kids has been wonderful. Um, I'd love to be able to have checked out more of the Oculus Rift games, but I sort of don't have the time to stand. There has been a bit of queuing involved, as there always is, but it's always worthwhile. Um, yeah, we went to the Bioware party. That was pretty sweet. Um, and the best bit is actually going to be tonight, because I'm running the Mega Dev party, where all the developers are going to be able to sit down and chill out and have a beer and talk about the weekend. So I'm looking forward to hearing heaps of stories there too. Awesome, Michelle. Giselle, thank you so much. No worries at all. Have a good one. Thanks. Hey, my name is Yug. I'm the Content and Communications Manager at PAX Australia. I'm here on the Sunday of the show. And uh, I gotta say, it's been a fantastic experience. You know, we've worked on putting this together with the Penny Arcade guys for about the last a year or so and you know going from all the uh, the drawings and the schematics and like you know exterior computer screens and doing everything over the last last year and actually now actually seeing it you know in real 3d and seeing all the people that have turned up and all the community come together and everyone's super friendly and everyone's really nice and everyone's getting into it it's, it's fantastic so uh, you know keep uh, keep an eye on the PAX Australia website for uh, for information about PAX uh, in 2014